Hey creators, today we're going to be doing a quick video on how to animate shaking text in Movavi Video Editor Plus. You can do this in the 2020 version or 2021. I'm going to go ahead and add a video for the background. You can import your own video or use one of the sample videos. And then you're going to want to go to your text circle here and add basic text. The simple text will do. It doesn't have any animation already on it. And then type whatever you'd like in, change the font to whatever fits your needs. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and keep the text centered and big until I add the animation. Now there are, in these this circle here with the four squares, you can go to animation. There are some easy animations available, but they don't have anything that will make it shake. So we're going to go to the Advanced tab, and we're going to add animation. It's going to go ahead and add two points. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some evenly spaced points here, like this. At the end, I'll also show you how to make shaking text that also gets bigger. But we'll start with just a simple shake. So I'm just going to go to every other dot and rotate it just slightly to one side and then I'll go to the next dot and rotate it the opposite direction. And we're just going to repeat that for each dot, each of the animation dots, like so, until we've done them all. Oops, missed that one. So to, shoot, to work on it you just need to click the dot when you're in animation and then I'll click it again there. And then we're going to test it and see how quickly it shakes. Okay, so you can see that's shaking like pretty slowly. So to speed that up, you're just going to drag your dots closer. And I'm going to zoom in to do this so that I can see better. So we're just going to drag these a lot closer. Now, if you want to repeat the effect or make it last longer, then you can actually make the animation points at the beginning and the end the same. So I can take this point here and I'm going to remove that one where it was straight so it starts with this rocked to the left. And then from there I'm going to copy that keyframe and we're going to make sure this one is going to the right before we paste the keyframe here. So now the beginning and the end are at the same point. I'm going to drag the text line right in line with that dot and the beginning right in line with the first dot and then we should be able to again check its speed now that we made it smaller it's a little shakier there and then I can paste the same thing we should be able to put it back to back and we'll see how that looks so it loops very smoothly and that will keep you from having to just repeatedly do the dots over and over and over so I can just do a few and then make it last as long as I like so if you want this to grow, and it's a little more difficult, I can't just take the shaking text and go from this point, make it small, and this point to make it big, because all of these points are still the same size. So we're gonna start over with a new simple text, and we're just gonna go ahead and drag another video down to work with. So from here, I'll add another simple text. So this one will start small and shake as it gets bigger. I like to use this in my gaming edits, like especially for someone screaming or yelling in like a really uh, like serious moment. So we can do ah, I like just like that or something. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is add the animation points again. And I'm gonna go ahead and have one at the very end in the beginning, as long as I want my text. So you want to make sure you have it as long as you're going to need it. And then from here I'm going to make the last one very big. And wherever you want it to end. So if you want it to end and like come up to the side or if you want it to come in from the, the top corner. We're just going to keep this one in the center for now. And the first one will be smaller. We're going to center them both up. And they're not really centered. They're centered where I have the text placed in the first place. So if I want to center the whole thing, I can still change it here. We're going to again place the same points, kind of spaced. And I'm going to use the spacing that I have here. 
So I know um, about where I want those now for the dots. So then we're going to press Control T. So we're going to select this first, and then Control T will add another animation point. And again, we're just going to repeat that, adding animation points at about the same pace apart from each other. So this one's a bit long, really. Uh, like that. So we're actually going to stop it short there. Okay, so I decided it was a little too big. So I'm actually going to take this bigger one so it will grow a little faster. And we're going to go ahead and drag it back and then re-add these shaking animation points so that it still gets just as big but faster. And then I'm just going to, once I get all these points done, we're just going to repeat the same thing we did earlier by adding a slight rock to the right and then the left on each point until we get all the way to the end which is tricky oh, clearly it is tricky on this one because you can see it wants to make that go out I'm gonna do this and this let's see there we go so this way so if I squish this screen to a more vertical fit it will show me more of the top but then I can finish my rotation there Let's undo, because we made it a little smaller already. There we go. Okay, so you can see the last frame we rocked to the left. So this one we're going to rock to the right. And we're just going to continue. Left, right, left, right, until we're done. Ah, and let's test it. And make this a little more normal again. And you have this shaking, growing text. You can move it over a little bit. If you go over too far, it'll run out of space. If you want to make the shaking text fade in or out at the beginning, you're just going to double click the first point in the text. So the first animation point, and we're gonna turn the opacity all the way down. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the last point. I'm gonna turn the opacity all the way down. And then that same text will fade in at the beginning and out at the end. I like that. But you can do a lot of different animations using the animation points. If you have any requests for other tutorials on Movavi Video Editor Plus, let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this, and we'll see you next time.